Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's currently July in Michigan and unlike many other states and countries, we have such a mild summers most of the time. Morning temperatures are upper 50s and 60s and highest temperature is upper 70s and 80s. So very mild temperatures and I think a lot of succulents really love this. One of the stressful things here is that whenever we have rain, I'm sitting on our porch where I keep all my cacti and some of my other plants. Uh, whenever we have rain, it rains like 10 feet, 15 feet in all the way to our living room windows, which means whatever it's on the porch, it gets soaked. Um, I have moved 100 pots probably four times since um, I took them out in May, which is exhausting. And I'm always stressed, like if they're gonna get soaked and um, over and over and not have any breaks from rain, because sometimes we can have every three days just rain coming. So we are actually thinking about closing this port, so I'll keep you updated on that. But today I just wanted to give you an update on, of plants that are on the porch. And then um, another day I will show you deck and propagation areas. Um, so today we are going to see some of my euphorbias, um, all of my cacti, some of my chrysoulas, uh, gavis, sedums. And uh, yeah, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So let's take a look. I will start from the left and show you what I have on the steps here. So here is my beautiful agave americana vergata. This agave um, has been left outside until we had really, really low temperatures and a lot of combined with a lot of snow. And then I moved it to garage where it was also below freezing and it survived. And it actually had three pups, one, two over there. And the third one that I separated about three weeks ago and it's looking really good. I'm really happy how it looks with that pot as well. This one was pretty smallish um, when the winter started and it finally perked up uh, with all the rain and it's looking good. Uh, this one is small so hopefully it's going to grow some more leaves before winter. What I have here, some propagations. I've been doing a lot of euphorbia propagations. So I have variegated corn cob, regular corn cob. I don't know what this one is. This is my Gwen Terry euphorbia. I just took it out a few days ago. It, it was in the dining room. Then I have my Swernia schneideriana. I just placed this longest stem with a lot of small branches in the soils with the hope that it's going to root so i can just cut it here because it's just like really gangly um there here are some more euphorbia propagations these are all rooted i think that they're a little bit thirsty it's very dry so yeah this is my grande cornice this is all new growth that you had can see it's like a, a little bit different green color. My propagated Ruby's necklace, looking really pretty. Regina, agave, look how nicely this one is growing. This was accidentally chopped while it was in conservatory, this tip here. And now where the tip was chopped, there is a total of five branches growing my Vera Higgins, um, a few things here that I might come back to. Um, this I really enjoy looking at. Here is my ghost plant that's looking just beautiful. And then next to it, Priscilla Stringle Buttons Hybrid. It has been really loving this strong afternoon sun facing southwest and look how thick and big these pieces are. This is actual original mother plant that I trimmed aggressively end of this winter 
and this is all the new growth then this one i don't know it's some kind of sedum but just these three plants i just love seeing here together some more euphorbia propagations that's rooted i just trimmed this guy and these are just the cuttings here i actually cut aggressively this one this year these are all cuttings and look how beautiful they are so at the end of the winter i cut this plant here is some of my stapelia quernia looking good these are just cuttings rooting this is one that i brought from serbia um black gem variegated jade some euphorbias here on top this one had a root rot but all of the individual branches had roots so it wasn't really a problem just it looks smaller but i just placed them in a in a new pot so see the morganianum so like I said, I've been moving a lot these pots and finally my husband said just put them on the table. So most of my cacti are on this these two tables. I do have some kind of color organization. There is like a <laughs> yellowish green and then it's transitioning to white ones and then blue and purple toward the end. But um, you can see close up how they're doing there is some euphorbias here as you can notice here is my nuti that has really nice codex um, stellata i love these weird blooms they're so cool this one bloomed a lot now it's having second round of blooms this one bloomed this bloomed as well these are euphorbias here as you can see two big lands probably the most two exciting things this year for me when i come out are these two pots i'm going to explain why so these were the two cuttings that i brought from serbia they were much smaller and much greener so um i just want to show you how many pups they have put on these two branches and it's so exciting to see the growth on plants i think that's the most exciting thing and it's very stressed color on it but i like it and then the other one that really excited me to look at this year is this euphorbia restricta that i bought from ted's greenhouses and it, it was just the one branch and it didn't look very good i actually when i purchased it it had like brown on the bottom and i beheaded it actually beheaded it twice and this year this cutting winter cutting put out all these branches and now i really like how it looks so I'm going to go back uh, to the steps so you can see the leftover plant from that I cut. Here it is. So you can see that's where I cut it and it actually grew two branches. I am now leaving it to grow a little more. So hopefully in the next two months, um, it can grow a little bigger and then I can separate these and root them. So that really is exciting. Um, then this one looked like it was completely dead. I wish I could show you the picture, how it looked. It was completely folded. I thought it's not going to recover. And it just, when the dormancy passed, it just started taking in water and plumping up and it has beautiful colors my hoodie is looking good these are both nuti cuttings that are just rooted they have about inch roots 
I checked and I just put them in the separate pots this bloomed really nicely and it's preparing to bloom again this one is putting up a lot of pups euphorbia this one grew so well as well then I have this one that bloomed preparing to bloom this one bloom a ton too bad I can't show you how beautiful blooms this one has and this is that little uh, spiralis that was half the height that I purchased from um, like a collector seller kind of like me that brought on a plant swap and sale uh, this one it was about that height so it just in the last two months it put up two inches of growth so exciting and then in the same time as this was growing I didn't know that Amanda because I lost my husband's plant purchased one for me and that one has a perfect swirl look at how beautiful it is guys so that's the one from Amanda that's still kind of establishing um, has some roots from travel uh, this is what my husband purchased as Tephrocactus geometricus but it's not super round it's more oval and I want to see what's going to happen with it. I did order the round one. There, there it is. And it just recently arrived. So it's very uh, kind of wrinkly looking and still rooting. And then what else we have here? There's a lot of new growth on a pine cone cactus. Here is my astrophytums. I have really got into astrophytums i'm so interested in them i want to expand number of them that i have so this is the small it was much smaller when i brought it from serbia this is the one that i brought this year this is from last year look at this guy it grew so much it was so tiny it was like maybe this size so it kind of doubled in in diameter and it's preparing to bloom um, here is my booby um, cactus that rooted. I had a little accident end of winter when my shelves fell and the cutting rooted really, really well. Um, this is, well, I, I forgot the name of this one. And then this cutting that I took end of winter. Look, guys, how much growth there is. Now I have a bunch of new cuttings that I'm preparing for sale. They just fill up so quickly. It's just amazing. I really love watching this one grow from a little cutting. And, um, and then here on the right side, I have on the ground propagations of some some uh, euphorbias like this one here all cuttings this is cutting this is cutting this is cutting pencil tree these are rooted bioenses then i have some cacti i have another euphorbia this is the booby cactus mother plant that's growing a pup I cut this one a few times, so now it's growing new branches. And look at this other pot of cuttings of Crisula. Oh my gosh, it's so lumpy. Look at these, look at these branches. And this is uh, rooted cuttings of, oh darn it, Greenway. A greenway yeah I really don't like the base of it so I wanted to establish new plants so we'll see um, how that's gonna go here is some more euphorbia Rasula. look at this guy oh my gosh I'm so excited and it's been doing good I got it I don't even know a month ago a month and a half ago I think a month and a half ago and it's looking really good it rooted it's like a variegated chrysalis springtime 
and keeping it here in the shade. And then there is Rupestris. This is one of the new additions. It's called um, Euphorbia Salata Special. Look how plumpy and swirled it is. And um, yeah, so you can see what's the difference between this one and that one. Yeah, it. I'm so excited about this new edition. It just arrived less than a week ago. So I'm... here are some more cuttings. That's where I usually put them because it's shaded here. So I dry them up a little bit and then I place them in the soil. Hopefully this one will survive every year. I lose this one because it gets too dry. This one grew so much. Oh my gosh, it's so cool looking. And there is another branch it grew. Uh, so very exciting. Here is some more Chrysulus, Aptania. I just denied so hummingbird going from bloom to bloom on this pot. Um, this is also a new addition. This is Euphorbia Persistence that I lost a few years ago and I finally replaced it. Same seller as this one here. I have purchased from him many times. Really nice Euphorbias and Havortias he sells. This is a mini Chrysula, keeping it also here in shade. Then here on top, I have some propagations of my chrysulas of a big ivory tower is these rooted I have baby necklace that I cut a lot and I completely cut my original mother plant and just took the cuttings so these are all rooted cuttings and they seem happy here um oh yeah this is also very exciting this is such an unusual cactus and i really wanted to bring it uh, from serbia so i think it's rooted it's just a little bit loose i think it needs water so i need to water this one so that's it for today guys um if you have any questions or you would like to see more close up some of the plants or get tips about how to take care of them. Let me know which ones you are interested in and uh, see you in the next video.